Hello, good morning. My name is Lauren. Welcome back to another weekly vlog of my life here in Beijing. It's been like 30 degrees this week. It's feeling like summer, which is quite nice. And the May long weekend, Labor Day weekend just passed. So it was a really busy time. I didn't go anywhere. Um, I didn't really do anything. I was just like working and staying home. Um, one of my friends from work brought back a very special snack for me. He traveled to his hometown for the long weekend um, and he said that this snack is kind of exclusive to his hometown and he always has it every time that he's there. It's called Guo Bing. Hopefully I got that right. The translation when I looked it up of Guo Bing was like a a pot cake like um so it's like a a kind of dough and it has sesame seeds on it and it's both sweet and spicy um which i really like i really like the flavor of it so he brought me in this whole tub and i was like oh gonna like try one piece he was like no here take the whole thing he's like i have lots i was like oh wow so i've been sharing it with some friends i've been snacking on it all night last night uh, it's very good. I love when I get to try new snacks, try new foods, um, and learn a little bit about these cool things that I've never tried before. Okay, I think I'm going to go get some food for lunch, and then I think we're just going to head out. Go for a little walk. Yeah. I'm just going to put on a little bit of extra sunscreen. I found something that looks very interesting. I've never tried this before. Like a tofu. Egg. Tofu. I think this is a shrimp in the middle. I don't know what it is. But I like it. Here we go. Why do I do this? I put my card in the tissue thing. restaurants and shops so it's like super interesting the inside section has lots of like tea places drink places and then along the outside section you have some more like sit down restaurants but it's still kind of like not fast food quite but like noodles and different hot pots and barbecue things like that around the outside but then yeah you come to the middle to get your drink and then you take it to the restaurant along the outside and it's still very busy so I I feel like the the holiday weekend is just extending uh, through the week. Oh my gosh, there's just all these turtles. And there's fish? Beta fish? Oh. <laughs> Maybe the way that these ones are shaped like this on the bottom, maybe that prevents them from seeing each other. But like in these ones, could they not see each other if they were neighbors? It's like the most beautiful carousel. I think it's so cute. Okay, there's this carousel and then there's a really tiny one in there. That reminds me of one that I used to ride on like when it's just like outside the grocery store and you put 25 cents in. I just ran into some friends and so we just had a nice little walk around the mall and like hang out for like an hour. But now I'm back on my own and continuing my little walk. Uh, I'm hoping I can 
end up somewhere for dinner and then head home. Someone approached me to say hi and I thought that I was like making a friend um, but then it turns out they were just trying to spray my shoes and shine my shoes and it was probably a scam and, and then I ran away. Weird. I've had that happen before. It doesn't happen often. Just every now and then. I thought they were being nice. I had to stop my bike so I could come and take a look at the giant lions. Wow, I've never seen ones this big. Hey, isn't the one that has the ball usually on the right hand side? And the one with the baby is usually on the left hand side. I mean, don't listen to me. I don't know what I'm talking about. But this looks like a gremlin <laughs> and I love it. I wanna take a picture. I went for a nice leisurely bike ride, but I'm figuring out that this museum slash park slash conservation area I, I think is closed. It's like 6 p.m. Um, and I think this gate is here to keep me from entering there. There's nobody in there. So I think I'm just gonna get on the subway, which is right here, and head back home for the evening. I just knew I had to get out and see things today because it is supposed to rain tomorrow. So I don't think I'm gonna do uh, any exciting things tomorrow. <laughs> Wait, I don't know if it works. We're trying a new restaurant today. This is Beside. Yeah. Thank you. The little apron. We got an apron. This is Beside Dongbei Thai, which is next door, which is the one that we like to go to. This one, the decoration inside is very beautiful. And we always see it when we walk by, so we figured why not give it a try. Gotta have a good apron. Ta-da! My apron! I'm gonna take a picture for Alex on his new favorite app, which is the vintage, what is, what's it called? 1998. Vintage 1998 cam. So vintage. Well, here it all comes, Laura. It's time. Oh it's already God. time. It's time. Mm. I know, right? It goes on top. Ah. There's one thing on here. Wait, I need to turn the brightness down so that I can see it. Oh yeah, there we go. No, I think she's just, it's just fat on the grill. Okay, oh. okay. She's yeah. Mm. She's adding the dreaded cilantro. The shangzai. <gasps> So I think this plate over here is for you. Yeah. The sauce is just like nice. Like, Our meat has been cooked. I don't know what it is, but it's nice. Yeah, and the spices like taste quite mild to me. Yeah. I just tried a little bit, but like, yeah. It was quite mild was to quite me mild, as well. Yeah. You're going to try the spicy one. I'm going to try the spicy one. I got a tiny little bit of the spicy one. Do you hear that upstairs? Yeah, yeah. I think, there's a, I think there is a little seating area upstairs above us on this side here. I think it's a Taekwondo class. I think they're moving tables. Mm. You okay? I'm heading out for the afternoon. I'm trying out my new sparkles that I bought the other day and some of my new jewelry. I have this necklace and uh, I got this cute ring that I really like. So I'm ready to go. I don't know what we're doing. I don't know where we're going. This is another one of those days where I'm kind of just joining on with another group that's already maybe has plans. I wanna do whatever they wanna do. <laughs>
We've come to the Hangqiao Pearl Market and we're on the rooftop at the Pearl Club or the Pearl Lounge, which maybe it's bumping at night, I don't know. But it's like a beautiful view of the city and we can see the summer, or the uh, Temple of Heaven from here. And we had to like build our own uh, couch because all of the cushions are like underneath the tarp, but like it's really nice. We picked like the first hutong that I had on my list and I was like, okay, either this list went from number nine to number one and or like number ten and counted down or the list started with the best and I don't know which one it is. So we picked the first one and we decided to go check it out and we walked around this whole like like abandoned like it's like in the process of like remodeling all of these um, little hutong neighborhoods. Uh, it was like it was cool. It was cool to see it, there. I feel like there were a couple people living there, but like not really. It's just so interesting because you're Beijing is so big, but the the downtown core is not what like I would think of as like downtown. It's more like different areas in the city because downtown downtown has it has like a tourist center, and then we see these hutong areas which are under construction or just like yeah it's, it's just so interesting it's so interesting it's more spread out i guess they have these cute pods that you can sit in um, but we like the view over here they gave me a rabbit because they're gonna bring me my tea i did not buy the rabbit 